Could, you said after you said after the Old Dominion game, you were really encouraged, which is an odd statement considering the way the game started sure. and, and the fact that you lost. What specifically were you yeah. encouraged about the way the way they came back in the second half, took the lead, yeah. things like that? I would say partially that. I think more the feel that. Um, that was generated by our play. Uh, just some toughness, some grit. Uh, you know, I thought we maintained our poise even, even though we were down uh, by so much earlier. But, but really just a toughness and a grit and a fight within us uh, that I thought we didn't have enough of last season and that we had in, in, uh, for most of our seasons in, in, a, in a big way. So I was encouraged, and I think a lot of it is brought by the younger guys. Obviously, the older guys are... are are um, good players and bring it, but but just overall a feeling that we weren't backing down or intimidated by the deficit we were in or the or anything that was going on that we were just fighting and scrapping. When there is a deficit like that to start the game, um, is that just something that naturally happens and you just have? There's no real way to avoid something like that, or is there? Or how do you go? Yeah. Oh, how do you get around that? Yeah. Well, you know, in, in in looking at the game a couple of times, you know, I think we missed uh, in the first five possessions two layups and two free throws. So I, I think that even if we had started slowly, but we had converted on on those, you know, then the game is just more of a normal game where the visiting team has the lead. Uh, since we didn't, it, it, it has a way of snowballing it. There's so much of momentum in a basketball game, you know, that they start feeling more comfortable and confident. You start to press and feel more anxious. Um, so I think those things are going to happen during the course of the year. 16-0 is very rare. Um, but again, I, I think, you know, if, if you're going to be down 16, it's best to be down 16 uh, the first four minutes of the game, you know, than any other point. And I thought we did a really good job of getting it to four by halftime. Coach, um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I feel like you haven't played many true freshmen significant minutes since Kendall. Like, he would be the last guy that's been... True freshman? Yeah, you're probably right. Um, with that said, you know, with Nick and Monte getting in there pretty early, you know, do you do you see them almost pressuring themselves to accelerate their learning curve? And, and do you kind of count on them to accelerate their learning yeah. curve? I would say yes to both. I think that uh, it's really, you know, it's, it's difficult. Uh, it's a huge transition to make if you're not playing or if you're just playing a little bit to be starting or playing a lot of minutes, that's that's really a challenge. I think those guys are, uh, and it's a challenge just in your su such a unique, uniquely different role than you're in as a star player in high school. So, uh, but I, th I think they're handling it well. And I think that the best, you know, the, the, there are a lot of ways to do it. And, and we talk to them all the time. I think the best way to do it is to continue to try to be demanding of them because there's so many things that they have to, to do and to improve upon, uh, that we're going to just keep being de being demanding of them because we feel like they can do it, and I think they've helped. They've contributed already, and and I think that uh, you know as the year ends, these will be two of their worst games, and they've already helped in a big way.